An isotope of cesium-137 has a half-life of 30 years. If we've got one gram of cesium and it disintegrates over a period of 90 years, how many grams of cesium would remain? Okay, so firstly, let's work out how many half-lives are we going to go through. Well, 90 divided by uh, 30 is three half-lives. Oops. Now, to begin with, we've got year, uh, your first half, sorry, zero before your first half-life, first half-life, second half-life, third half-life. And to go from each one, you're timesing by a half. So to start off with, well, we've got one gram, okay, half of one gram is 0 0.5, okay, after the first half-life, okay, after the second half-life, you'll have 0 0.25 grams left, and then finally, after the third half-life, 0 0.125 grams, and that's going to be our final answer, 0 0.125 grams. Actinium-226 has a half-life of 29 hours. If 100 milligrams of actinium-226 disintegrates over a period of uh, 58 hours, how many milligrams of actinium are you going to have? So firstly, again, how many half-lives are we talking about? Well, 58 divided by uh, 29 is 2. So we've got two half-lives. Now, remember, we've got the first, uh, before the first half-life, the first half-life and the second half-life. So we started off with 100 milligrams. Okay. Again, times by a half to go between each half-life. So the first one, after the first one, you'd have uh, 50 milligrams. Then by the second one, you'd have 25 milligrams remaining. And then 25 milligrams, that's our final answer. Okay, sodium-25 was used in an experiment, but it took three minutes uh, to get the sodium from the reactor to the laboratory. <clears throat> if five milligrams of sodium-25 was removed from the reactor, how many, how many milligrams of sodium-25 were placed in the reactor vessel 30 minutes later if ha the half-life of sodium is 60 seconds? Well, firstly, we're talking about three minutes, so three times by uh, 60, is 180. So how many half-lives do we have? 180 divided by 60 is 3. So we've gone through 1, 2, 3 half-lives. To begin with we have 5 milligrams. Then after one half-life we've got 2.5. Then we're going to have 1.25. And finally we're going to have 0 0.625 grams. The half-life of an isotope X is two years. How many years will it take for four milligrams to decay uh, to only have 0 0.5 milligrams of it remaining? Well, we're starting off with four. After one half-life, we'd have two. After uh, two half-lives, we'd have one. And then after a third half-life, okay, so here we've got, this is uh, the first half-life, second half-life, third half-life. So it will take three half-lives. Now each half-life is worth two years. So three times by two is going to give us six years. That's our answer. Selenium 83 has a half-life of 25 minutes. How many minutes would it take for 10 milligrams to decay to only uh, 1.25? So we're starting off with 10. After one half-life would have five. Then we'll have 2.5, and then eventually we'll have 1.25. So how many half-lives have we gone through? Well, this is the sample to begin with. After one half-life, we'd have five. Two half-lives would have 2.5. After three half-lives, we'd have 1.25. Now, each half-life is 25 minutes. So 25 times by three is going to be uh, 75 minutes, or one hour uh, and 15 minutes. The half-life of polonium-218 is 3 minutes. How much of a 2 gram sample remains after 15 minutes? So 15 
divided by 3 is 5. So we've got 5 half-lives. So to begin with, we've got 2 uh, milligram, sorry, two grams. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After one half-life, we've got 1. Then we'll have 0 0.5, 0 0.25, then 0 0.125. And finally, 0 0.0625 grams. Okay, this is part two of the question. Suppose you wanted to buy some of this isotope and it requires half an hour uh, to reach you, which is 30 minutes. How much did you order so that you get to use 0 0.1 grams of the material? Well, each half life is three minutes, so we're going to have to have uh, ten, go through 10 half lives. Now, on the 10th half-life, we want 0 0.1 grams. So what we need to do is go backwards. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And double up each time. So we're going to have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1 uh, 6, 3.2, 6.4, uh, 12.8, uh, 25.6, uh, 51.2, and then finally uh, 102.4. So our final answer is 102.4 grams. There we go.